Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining this week's Vendasta webinar. We are live from the Vendasta headquarters in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. It's Thursday, February 13th, so happy early Valentine's Day, everyone. Make sure you go out and stock up on all of the discounted chocolate on the 15th. But today we're hearing about Alpha SEO and some of the success that our partners have had since they launched in our marketplace in June. My name is Erica. I'm a product marketing intern here at Vendasta. And joining me today from Alpha SEO, we have Raj Madhavani and Juan Melendez, uh, Director of Account Management. And Raj is the National Sales Director. Hi, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hi, Erica. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Great. Thanks, um, Erica. And just a reminder, as usual, before we start, drop any questions you have in the chat box and we will get to them towards the end of the webinar. If there's any questions that we don't get to today, we will personally follow up with you after the webinar. But we have a great webinar lined up for you today. So I will go ahead and hand the presentation over to Juan. Thank you, Erica. So I'm going to share my screen and you let me know if you can all see it with my agenda. That's perfect. Great. Well, thank you so much and welcome everybody. It's a pleasure for us to be here in our second webinar. We're excited to get the opportunity of speaking with you guys again. And I look forward to, um, um, to the conversation and the questions. So, Real quick on the agenda, uh, we're going to go through our company overview and product um, highlights. We want to go through a little bit of our background for those partners that we haven't met yet. Um, then we'll move it into kind of a state of the union. You know, we'll gather some data um, on our progress so far. Um, and we want to share that, you know, those results uh, with you guys. Then we're going to show also share some success stories, right? Uh, some, more, some case studies that we have on, on, on actual active campaigns. Um, we'll move into future plans, you know, what's to come, uh, some of the new things that we have in, um, in stock. And, and then we have the pleasure of, of having one of our partners uh, with us today. Uh, he's uh, willing to share his testimonial. So we'll have a, a little bit of time to speak with him at the end. And then we'll open it up for questions and answers uh, until the end. So with that, I'll get started. Um, a little bit about Alpha SEO. Um, behind Alpha SEO is a company called SM Marketing. Um, SM Marketing has, has been in business for over 15 years now doing wide label SEO. Um, we worked on over 45,000 campaigns in our, in our history. We got offices all around the world with over 300 employees. Um, we're considered one of the largest wide label digital marketing uh, providers in the world. Um, and we're able to work in English and Spanish campaigns. Um, we also have a best-in-class dashboard that um, hundreds of agencies use every day um, and that we put into your disposal, right, uh, for, for you guys to use as well. So we bring a lot of history, experience, and, and a lot of uh, bandwidth, if you will, to, uh, uh, to the marketplace. We have some online resources in case you haven't seen them. Uh, we have an alphaseopros.com website where you can actually go and learn a little bit about our product, but also it's gonna link you to some of our other resources as well. Um, so resources like our support knowledge base portal, uh, where you're gonna be able to get some uh, tutorials and uh, articles about our program, and also be able to kind of ask us questions, right? We have a very nice, chat widget in our page that will allow you to, to talk to us um, um, on the support and sales side, right? We like to kind of chat with you on any questions that you may have. Um, and we also have our own uh, support team calendar. If you ever need to kind of get in touch with us or schedule a call with us, you can definitely go to uh, um, our calendar and schedule some time uh, with, with, with our team. Um, we also have a tier support um, email that you're able to use even before you start placing an order with us. If you have ever a, a question about our product, a follow-up questions or any, um, any details that you need, you're more than welcome to email us at support at Alpha SEO Pros and we'll answer um, any questions that you may have. A little bit about our product highlights. Um, as you've probably already seen in our marketplace, we have a very affordable uh, product for you. 
Um, we like to think that it's, you know, it's, it's a comprehensive and holistic SEO approach that we're taking. We're not um, only concentrating on just parts of SEO. We're taking a holistic approach, right? On-page, off-page optimization. Uh, we couple that with lead building strategy, content, SEO fixes, and kind of monitoring. So we're taking a, a, a kind of a complete approach. We're very transparent and comprehensive in our reports. You know, we like to show uh, in our reporting that we're doing what we're saying that we're doing, okay? And our, our reports uh, really show that. It's actually one of the highlights of, of our product and a lot of partners uh, really enjoy our reporting and like the reporting. Like I mentioned, we have a dashboard. It's a white label dashboard that we've connected to your account. Um, as soon as you place an order with us, that's connected right away. Um, and you'll be able to kind of not only uh, use that for your clients, but also as, a, as an agency as well, you have a lot of tools there that you can uh, take advantage of. And last but not least, you know, it's very good for SMB from multi locations. We're able to work on different types of accounts and businesses. Uh, especially, um, so definitely a lot of flexibility in our product. With that, I'm gonna pass it to Raj. He's gonna go through some of our product um, information. Raj. Thanks, Juan. Uh, hoping everybody can hear me right now. Yes, we can. Okay, awesome, thanks. Yeah, thanks for that, Juan. So um, yeah, that was a good overview of the company. And uh, I just wanna give a brief kind of an overview of the product. Uh, I mean, this webinar was meant to showcase more of the kind of results we have, but I think uh, just a brief overview would help out with people. So the idea was to have a simple and effective program for the partners. Uh, we've been in the SEO business for a very long time, and SEO can tend to get overly convoluted or overly complicated sometimes, um, especially the pricing part of it. So what we wanted to do was come in at a great price so that, uh, you know, retail, when you're offering it to your clients, uh, you're offering a great value and you also have a pretty decent markup. So we started with a one SKU package, which is the base price of 175. And this is in US dollars. Um, obviously, but it's a for, you know, included in that $175 is all the things that Juan mentioned earlier. So we still do a full comprehensive SEO. So we'll do, we'll touch on page, off page, and building, etc. It includes one geography. So which should be the location located, your client's business is located. And we call it a topic because, you know, it could be a heating person or an air conditioning person. So it's about so for a base price of 175, you get seven trackable keywords and you get a full on, um, you know, SRAM. And then you build it up from, you know, build your package. And then one of the things that we're gonna talk about a little bit later in the presentation the is, just... is uh, we're gonna have a few pre-built offerings. I'm sorry, is, is it hard to hear me? Uh, your mic is kind of cutting in and out. I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, let me try. Juan, you want to take over right now, and then I'm going to try and call back in? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, go All ahead. Thanks. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, like Raj was saying, um, so we build this one uh, SKU package, easy to understand, easy to build, right? We're going after that one geography and, and one topic. By topic, we mean um, kind of vertical, right? Kind of business topic. Uh, what is, you know, landscaping, dental? What is kind of that business? Uh, so that we can then go ahead and do a keyword research and, and gather the seven keywords that, um, that we want to go after. So. In addition to that, we've, um, we've added some add-ons to our marketplace and to our package, right? We wanna give you the flexibility to be able to kind of build the program up um, as you see fit, right? So if you place an order for an alpha package, alpha uh, base package, right? You can always um, grow that program at any time you'd like, either at the beginning or even after a program has started. So a good example would be if I want to add an extra topic, right, uh, an extra vertical to be optimizing for. 
You can do that by adding the extra topic add-on, and then we'll kind of add a, a seven additional keywords to your campaign, right? Same you can do with um, uh, an extra geography, if, if, if an extra geo add-on. If you wanna, um, if you wanna, let's say that your client wants to cover um, a, an adjacent location, for instance, so you wanna grow a little bit, then you can definitely add an additional geo um, add-on to your campaigns, right? Um, and then we've added something called, that we call Power Boost. Okay, and, and Power Boost is really meant to double the work that we are doing on the base package, okay? This is really meant for, um, it's a requirement that we have for verticals like dentists, lawyers, and, and contractors, because in our history, we understand how uh, competitive these verticals are, right? So we wanna make sure that we are doing enough work um, by doubling the work that we do on the base package to go aggressive at this different um, uh, verticals, more competitive verticals, if you will. Now, the Power Boost is, a, um, is, is an add-on that you can add to any campaign. It doesn't have to be a dentist, a lawyer, or a contractor. That, this is a common question I get, okay? Uh, and and we, can, we can add that Power Boost to any of the campaigns where, when we wanna be more aggressive. We're gonna ask for a little bit more work, right? Like I said, we, we pretty much double the work that we are doing on the base package, right, for any campaign. But again, it's a requirement for, for these specific um, verticals. Hey, Juan, I'm back We're also, on, so. All right, let me, I'll finish this slide and then I'll pass it back to you. So, awesome, thanks. Um, yeah, sure. So in addition to the packages and the add-ons, right, we're also able to work on custom quote, right, custom pricing for you, right? Um, we're able to um, we're able to work on bigger campaigns, if you will. Uh, you know, anything that that perhaps falls outside the scope of of the packages that we put together. So a good example of this is a national campaign, or a multi-location business like a franchise, um, or even uh, clients with with bigger needs and bigger budgets. Right? We're, we can always build a program um, that fits your needs. So. Um, as of now, this is as simple as just sending us an email to that support email address that I showed you at the beginning uh, with some information about what is it that your client needs and what you're looking for. And we're more than happy to build a, a specific program for you. So that's always an option. There's always a flexibility that we have. So please have that in mind uh, when you're looking at our product, okay? Rush, take it away. Brad? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Juan, uh, I'm here. See you. Okay. Take it away. All right. Thanks, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, this is my second try at it, so hopefully it works. Hopefully everybody can hear me fine this time. Uh, yeah, so the main, the main objective of this uh, was to kind of showcase some of the results we've had so far. So it's been about six months since we got onto uh, the Vendasta platform. And, uh, you know, we started picking up some steam, started getting some orders, and we felt this would be a good time to kind of showcase, every, you know, to everyone, like, okay, here's the kind of results we've been receiving so far, and here's why partners are actually um, happy with us. So with the results, the first thing you look at when you're looking at SEO is obviously rankings, right? So, so far, I'm really happy, to, you know, to report that we've had a 96% rise in keywords uh, across the board when we look at all the campaigns, obviously individual campaigns, some are higher, some are lower, but on an average, we're seeing a big boost in the first page rankings uh, on average across the board for all of, uh, within three to four months. So if you saw the campaign, uh, we do see a spike in the second month and then by third or fourth month, it stabilizes and we see a 96% increase um, from the original uh, campaigns. Also, we are also noticing something called what we call in our industry called like a splash effect. And that's a really good sign. It's a sign that you're doing good, clean SEO. So typically, if you're optimizing for a certain keyword, uh, and if you're doing it correctly, uh, there is other keywords that are related to the main keyword that also start rising in the rankings. So we're seeing on an average, uh, at least, you know, by the second or third month, at least six to seven additional keywords, ones that, you know, you may not have necessarily contracted for, but this is additional benefit that are rising up in the rankings. And we see that and we report that in our reporting as well, because we think that's a great value 
to show to your clients and not just, you know, the seven or 14 or 50 keywords that they're looking for. I think it gives, rounds out the entire thing really well. Uh, so that's the rankings. Uh, we're happy to report that. Another thing that we look at is GMB, Google My Business. Um, so whenever if someone places an SEO order with us, one of the things you will notice on the SEO order form is that we ask for GMB. Uh, if you have already created a GMB uh, listing for your clients, we ask that you know we get that login. And the reason for that is what you see here on the screen. We've seen that GMB oftentimes gets a big, big boost. Uh, you know, the map listings get a big boost once you do SEO on it. So we've seen some significant improvements in GMB results uh, within a few months. So first and foremost, there's been at least a 27% increase in all the website clicks that you get from GMB. So that's extra clicks they're getting on their websites. 30% uh, increase in search views and well over 100% increase in map views. So the amount of times that GMB maps show up when somebody's doing a search, um, you know, for keywords or either for the actual business, you, you know, we're seeing a big rise once we start doing SEO across the board. Um, and that's for accounts that have been active for at least three to six months. So these are pr roughly accounts three, four, five months old uh, that we're seeing these kind of trends on, which is very, very positive. And we're very, uh, I mean, we're super psyched by seeing this. So that's the GMB insights. And then the next one would be traffic, which is Google Analytics. Uh, we're seeing a good and a very strong increase in uh, analytics also. And again, this is average across the board for these campaigns that we received. So typically a campaign will start showing growth as soon as we start showing optimization, as soon as certain keywords start ranking. Um, within a few months, what we've seen so far for the accounts that we're working for through Vendesta and Vendesta specifically, uh, we've seen a 33% rise in organic traffic. Uh, which those of you who are familiar with Google Analytics will know what that is. It's specifically organic traffic. Uh, sessions have more than doubled. And then another interesting thing that we've always seen this, we've been in the business for a while. Typically when people are talking about SEO, you kind of drill in on the organic, but we've seen a rise across the board. We see a rise in referral traffic as well because we're doing a lot of link building. So we see a rise in referral traffic and then direct traffic also grows. Uh, you know, as a result of all of it. So, you know, we're happy to showcase that and kind of like we're happy to see that that's the correct trend line. And that's how we kind of check internally. We do a lot of checks and balances internally. So we look at each individual account, but at the same time, we're paying very close attention as a group to all the accounts that we have. And we track all the different keywords. I mean, we're tracking close to 2 million keywords overall on a monthly basis that we're working on constantly to see what kind of trends we're seeing. And we're seeing some very, very positive trends uh, with the accounts that we have in Vendesta. Uh, after the results, we have a few success stories. Um, we do have some of these, I guess, case studies that we have on the dashboard on Vendesta on the platform. Uh, we're gonna be adding these and quite a few more. And you'll start seeing a lot more case studies getting added on there as now that we're six months in and now that we're seeing some real results, we'll continuously every couple of months or every month just keep adding more and more case studies with different verticals to help you guys out. Um, and the idea is, is that you can use this hopefully to uh, help pitch and sell um, you know, clients out there. So in this case scenario, this is a case study of a uh, family eye care you know, uh, place. Uh, we started this campaign, again, it's come to us through Vendasta back in July. Uh, they wanted to increase their local presence, obviously. Uh, they only had two keywords ranking on the first page. So we do benchmark. Whenever we get a campaign, we'll do a benchmark and we'll see, okay, which keywords are they actually have on the first page. And we'll use that as a benchmark to kind of guide us and let us know how we're doing. So they had two, about two keywords ranking on the first page. And then as you can see, um, Within 60 days, we doubled the keywords. So then two, they went to four. Within 90 days, they're up to seven keywords. And now, as of right now, the, moment, the campaign is in full swing, right? So now you're like six months deep into it. You started seeing the results. And now at this, you know, I think we just pulled this like last week. They're all the way up to 15 keywords on page one. Correspondingly, as I mentioned earlier, as these keywords are rising, we're seeing a direct correlation to that with the GMB data. So they've got queries, searches, and we had a couple of other graphs, but the trend line is going up as the keywords are going up. And similarly for Google Analytics data, 
the trend line is going up. The traffic is increasing as we're actually getting them more visibility on, uh, you know, on the actual SERP pages. Um, the, uh, the next case study that we have is a kind of interesting. It's actually a digital marketing company, right? Um, and then they wanted us to get them ranked for digital marketing uh, within their geographic reason. Um, they don't have any keywords ranking on the first page when we first came in. Within 60 days, uh, they have about 11 keywords on the first page. Another five keywords achieved ranking after like 90 days. And now that the campaign again is in full swing, uh, fifth month, I think I'm fourth or fifth month into it, they have about 21 keywords ranking on the first page. Um, again, you can see analytics data and GMB data. This is the reason why we asked for this uh, when, we, when you take the order. Uh, and I I'm happy to say 85 to 90 percent of the orders we've received so far, we've managed to plug in analytics and GMB data into our platform. But as you can see, uh, again, overall traffic has increased by over 70 percent, 32 percent increase in Google organic traffic, uh, nearly 62 percent increase in uh, overall website views, that's for the analytics, and a good solid 42, 42, 32% increase in sessions and organic sessions and website clicks coming from GMB. Um, so these are, again, these are, again, Vendesta case studies now. Um, we have a few more, but I just wanted to kind of share this with you guys. We're excited about this. We're happy to see this trend. And uh, we were expecting this, but now at least we can kind of share it with you folks. Um, so those are the two kind of success stories we wanted to do. And this is our brand new employee that we've bringing on board <laughs> starting next week. <laughs> For those of you who know Borat and have seen the movie, you might appreciate this. Those of you who haven't, apologize. Please do go watch it. Uh, it's a great movie, but we figured uh, it's a great way to kind of talk about this, what's coming soon uh, to a theater near you. So we, we, we don't want to rest on our, you know, rest on our laurels. We want to continue improving and improvising the product. One of the benefits, you know, all the partners that we've gotten so far uh, who signed on with us have been awesome. Uh, we're getting a lot of feedback from the partners. And based on the feedback we've received, uh, we're trying to make a few changes here. Uh, and so some of the feedback we received is that we like the way you have your bundles, where in the case, you know, I can start from 175 and build up from there. But in some cases, we would like to have a prepackaged bundle. So that should be coming soon, uh, where we're working on something behind the scenes where we can kind of give you a guideline and say that, okay, for $500 or $600, this would be the ideal package, or $800 or $900, this would be an ideal package or something of that sort. So you kind of have a few models built so you can go out and just directly sell that. Um, we've heard a lot about sales support. So initially when we launched this product, um, we weren't available to speak with your end client. Uh, we were always available to speak with each individual partner and Juan and myself and others from our team have taken a lot of calls and have done a lot of one-on-one -on -one meetings with partners such as yourself. Um, in between, we've got jumped on a few client calls, but it wasn't something that was available. And we've received, uh, we've heard a lot of feedback saying there's a lot of value to that. If we can have someone jump on your calls with your clients, it would be very beneficial and it would help sell the product even better. So having heard that, we're kind of like in a beta right now. We're actually testing it out as we speak. And the rest of this month, uh, we're going to try it out where we have a system where we're able to jump on calls with end clients to help you explain SEO, to help you explain why Alpha SEO is the right uh, service for them et cetera, et cetera. So that should be coming soon, hopefully in the next month or two months. Um, we are available for support for the partners other than that, but this is something new that's coming up. And uh, very excited to talk about the executive report, which is something that was lacking, which is something that's available in the Vandasta platform. We've been working very hard at it, and we are very happy with the results so far. And I think um, in the next two to three weeks, you should be able to see executive reports for your clients, um, you know, in the dashboard. So, Juan, I'll back, you know, with the executive reports, and that's been kind of your baby. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you for that, Raj. That was great. So, yeah, we, uh, we've been working on adding some cards to the executive report, right, the great executive report section from uh, on the Vendessa uh, platform. So, 
like Raj mentioned, we're going to be going live in the next three or four weeks or so. And our plan is to kind of bring a lot of the data points, right, that our dashboard is, is collecting into the executive report. Like things like keywords, um, uh, Google Analytics and Google My Business Trends, uh, how many backlinks we've created. Uh, we also have a section about um, some, some of the pending things that we have, or some of the connections that we have with you, like API connections, like Google Analytics, Google My Big If those things are missing, we're going to highlight those because we want to make sure that if we haven't connected your Google Analytics and your Google My Business accounts into our dashboard, we do, so that we can start doing those, some of that reporting. So we will alert you um, on the executive report. So we're excited about this edition. Uh, this is going to be a great complement to our product and what we're doing uh, so far in our reporting. And we look forward to launching soon. So please be on the lookout for, for that soon. And with that, I have the great pleasure to introduce uh, one of our top partners um, from uh, Geek Strategic. His name is James Burton, the president of Geek Strategic. James, welcome. Thank you. Here. Yes, Juan, thank you. Can you hear me? We can. Excellent. How are you? Doing well. Great, great. Well, thank you so much for joining us. We're very happy to have you here. Um, we wanted to chat about your experiences so far since you were uh, one of the early adopters of our product, and we're you're very thankful for that and, and appreciative. Um, can you tell us a little bit of why did you decided to use Off ICO? Sure. <clears throat> so uh, Gig Strategic, we're, we're offering a lot of the Vendasta products and, and to our clients, small businesses in our market. And when we see new products come on, we do like to be early adopters. We want to try them out. And so I was curious. I've tried some other SEO solutions, but wanted to give Alpha a try uh, just to see how it worked compared to other things we've done in the past. And, uh, and it, it's, been, uh, it's been a great, uh, great experience. Right. So, so can you tell us a little bit about that experience so far, um, how positive it has been? Sure. Um, so one of the things that we found with a lot of our businesses we were meeting with is that they were trying different SEO products and, and they, they were paying you know, hundreds of dollars a month and they weren't sure if it was working or not. Um, and they would tell us that uh, they've been paying this money for six months and they go and nobody's even been in their account. I, I've had, I've heard a lot of horror stories and I know that a lot of small businesses feel like they've been burned in the past. They don't understand SEO. They think it's like black magic or something. You know, it's like it's very mystical to them. And and so what I what I really liked about uh, about your product is is in the monthly reporting we're showing, and I'll I'll, I'll take my, I've used it for our company, and I'll take that and show the client um, that hey look we can look at. at at exactly what the on-site recommendation is and that your team is implementing. And we're, we're just showing everything that's being done in the account. So it takes away that piece. Uh, and then the other piece is the performance piece, like does it actually work? And so again, we like to use test products on ourselves. So we used it for, for Gig Strategic and we did an open house recently and I was talking about SEO with a, pro, a prospect at the open house and they said, um, you know, we were talking about ways to rank for keywords. And I said, well, you know, if you look up online marketing, Charlottesville, you know, six months ago, three months ago, I, I didn't, I wasn't anywhere there in my market. This is, uh, you know, a keyword I want to compete for. And now I'm at, I'm in the first, uh, first spot there on Google. And there was another person there and you have to be careful sometimes with, with, with search where people they have a phone and they can, they can check right then and see whether or not it's true. And I know that, you know, browsers can be different and the user experience can determine results sometimes, but, um, in this case, it was a perfect, um, perfect situation where a, another prospect was there. They searched on their cell phone and they go, hey, he's right. And he shows the other guy, you know, that I'm in the first place uh, on Google for, for online marketing Charlottesville. And that was it. That was all it took. That person ended up buying um, the base package with three times on top of that. So it's a four times uh, uh, package uh, with Alpha SEO and, and we're getting, we're in the process of getting him started right now. So. Um, and so seeing the, the reporting every month has been important. I love the dashboard. I love the data. There's a lot of data that you're providing there. Digging deep into that, I think, is really helpful. So, uh, so there's several reasons why I, I feel like it's been a good experience for us and our clients. 
That's great. That, that's a great story. I really appreciate you sharing that with us. Um, so are you finding it easier uh, now to kind of offer um, SEO services um, with Alpha SEO? Is that helping you? Absolutely. Yeah. Again, I mean, being able to, to show it's working for us has been, you know, has been helpful. So just being able to give that case study of a personal experience. Um, and, and so, yeah, I, to me, I, I mean, I, what I tell people is that it's the best, I, I like what you said earlier, that it's a best in, cl in class uh, dashboard. And, and I really agree. I think it's really good. So I, I, I kind of sell it now as, as it's a must have, if you're a small business in our market and you don't have this, I'm like, what's wrong with you? I mean, you really, I, I don't see why you wouldn't have this to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's great. That's, and how, how satisfied would you say um, uh, your clients are, you know, talk to me a little bit about your clients and, and how satisfied they are. Well, it's early and, uh, and, you know, they are satisfied. They're, they're happy. The early results have been good. Uh, and, and by the way, I just want to say that Alpha is not paying me to say any of this. <laughs> I'm, I, this is, they, they invited me to share this and I'm doing this on of my own volition here. Nobody's, uh, um, you know, I'm, I'm happy to share this because I, I want things that work for my clients. I want to um, encourage other businesses that, uh, you know, that, to have something that works and where we can show the value to me, it's important. So, um, so anyway, I'm not a paid, uh, <laughs> a paid, uh, sponsor here for, for alpha, but it, but it's been my experience, you know, I've been, uh, you know, a partner, I don't know, however many months now. So my clients, it, it is newer. Uh, they definitely like it. I do think the integration into the dashboard, uh, is going to be even better for them to be able to see that, you know, I think with any of the products, it's, it's partly educating the client and then getting them in the habit of using it and looking at it regularly. So I try to encourage them to do that uh, just to help with retention, but I haven't had anybody cancel, you know, I, my retention's a hundred percent with the alpha product so far. So, uh, so that's been that's good. great to hear. That's what we like to hear. Well, Jane, yeah, thank you very much for your time. Um, we really appreciate you coming on and, and taking on, um, you know, being willing to uh, share your experience with us. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. Looking forward to keep uh, seeing you grow. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thanks. So to add a little bit to what James just shared, which was great, um, you know, we, we hear that kind of testimony a lot. You know, I, I speak to partners on a daily basis and, and we hear things like, you know, your transparency is great, you know, and it's, it's, the, your product is easier to understand, right? Which is kind of our goal. We're, we're trying to make it easy for you guys to sell it and, and to understand it so you, your clients can understand it as well. The accessibility um, that we have, right? The multiple channels that we have for support and getting in touch with, with us to help you out is something that is, it can't stand out for our partners. Um, like James mentioned, the dashboard, right? Uh, we're, uh, we have a very good dashboard, very good technology, um, and, and we put that to your disposal uh, for use. And again, the pricing, right? Our, our price point is, is very attractive, allows you to do a, a lot of things and be very flexible. So um, we look forward to, to your feedback uh, sometime soon as well. So with that, I'll pass it back to you, Erica. Okay, perfect. Get on to some Q and A's here. So first question I have is what makes you guys stand out from the competition? <laughs> yeah, I see that on here. I think it's asked by Vishal. So Vishal, I mean, honestly, it's not um, kind of a convoluted answer, but I think the basics that we just talked about in this presentation, I mean, you know, there's a lot of SEO providers out there and we pride ourselves in uh, transparency and uh, just like what Dave just you know answered we're pretty open about all the stuff that we're doing uh, we're not hiding anything from you the links that we built for you are going to be on the reports all the on pay stuff is on the report so that's something that people appreciate um, and then also the fact I mean uh, the pricing you know you can't you can't walk away from that um, we feel that it's a very very compelling offer that uh, I mean that you can actually go ahead and uh, give a full SEO, kind of touch all the different aspects of SEO, which is on page, off page, et cetera, et cetera, uh, within that price point. So I would say those are the things that kind of set us apart. Okay. 
Okay, great. Um, next question. Can we use alpha with clients we bring on that have Wix sites or similar sites and are not ready to replace them yet? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Yeah, Juan, you're the mm -hmm. tech guy, so please. <laughs> yeah, that's a great question. Thank you, Donald, for, for that question. We can definitely, um, yeah, we can, we can work on different platforms and DIY platforms like Wix. So the, answer, the short answer will be yes. Um, we're more than welcome to work on, on those sites as well. As long as we get access to, uh, to the admin panel, if you will, uh, of those platforms, we can do the work. And if, if not able to, to get uh, the access, then we can always send you the work that needs to be uploaded. And then you can have it uploaded um, by the client or yourself. So um, yes, definitely. We welcome them. Yeah, and just to, uh, we, I mean, diff different uh, websites sometimes can get really complicated. Types of, you know, FTP, then e panel, et cetera, et cetera. So we ask for the access. Um, sometimes we receive access, but then we didn't get something else. So we can always come back and ask for more access. And in some certain cases, you know, clients are just not comfortable giving the access, which is fine as long as they have somebody on their side. And this is specifically for the on page. So when we have revisions for title tags and meta tags and H1s and so forth and so on, we can always just send you the work and then you can have somebody on your side ask the client to get it uploaded. Um, you know, so that's typically how we handle that. But yeah. Okay. Um, is there an assigned account manager for each client that has multiple locations? Yes. An assigned account manager. Yes. Uh, you want to talk on that one? Sure. So yeah, you, you'll get a, uh, an account manager um, assigned to you at, at the time of the order. Uh, so yes, the answer, um, you'll get uh, somebody that will personally uh, go through you through each step of the process. And it's always going to be accessible for you. Okay. Um, and then we have a couple questions asking you to explain your external link building a little bit more. Uh, okay, I'm going to try and scroll down here. Uh, let me see. Explain the external link building. Yeah, so we, we, we do a pretty well-rounded link building program. Um, you know, we have, we've gener you know, we've developed relationships with a lot of different uh, places for, you know, pushing out content and getting things back, you know, because of content from blogs, um, you know, from social, we do bookmarking, we do social media bookmarking, et cetera, et cetera. So it's a pretty well-rounded link building uh, strategy that we use. Plus it's not just the places where we get the links from, uh, and it's not just the quantity of the links. It's also the, you know, the domain authority of these links that's, that are getting back. So we look at that very closely. Also the velocity of the links, uh, you know, more or less sometimes, you know, you don't want to have the even amount of links every single, every single month. So yeah, we look at, look at a complete, a complete holistic view at the link building. We look at the account and then basically, yeah, uh, pretty much everything is included in that. Hey, and by the way, anyone has any more specific questions, you're welcome to, you know, uh, get on a call with us uh, in the support stuff that we talked about. And Juan, myself, or anyone else, if you want to get, you want to do a deeper dive into it, you're more than welcome to set up a call with us. We do that all the time with partners, and we can have a half hour, 45 minute discussion about whatever it is that you want to get deeper into. Okay, perfect. Um, is the price point that you shared only for Vendasta partners? Um, so does it differ compared to what someone would get if they reached out to you directly? Yes, absolutely. This is a program that we designed with Vendasta for Vendasta. And it's actually not even available to our existing clients right now. So they come on uh, alphaseopros.com. You know, if they want to get in touch with us, um, it's basically a, a, a for Vendasta thing, in short, yes. Okay. Um, and for the topic and keyword selection, do you suggest a list of keywords that the end client can then choose from? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so the, 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 the format that we've come up with, if you just even, let's take the base, base package, right, for 175 you get seven keywords for it. So as soon as the order is submitted, you obviously we need you to let us know what the vertical is, what the business is, what the business owner is interested in optimizing for. But once we get the order, which is on the order form, you, when you fill out the order form, you'll see that. 
Uh, on our side, we have a project manager. We assign a project manager to that order. The project manager goes in, and within 24 hours, typically, uh, you will see an email come out to you with at least uh, anywhere between, you know, 14 or 15 keywords that you have a choice to, you know, come to you and say, okay, we think these are the best 13, 14, 15 keywords based on the information you gave us. Uh, you're more than welcome. We give you 48 hours. You're more than welcome to go out and, you know, show it to your client and pick out of those the seven keywords that you would like us to work on. Um, if we don't hear back from you for 48 hours or more than 48 hours, we will arbitrarily pick the ones that we think are best and start the campaign. And this is so that there, you know, there isn't a big lag between you sending the order and then, you know, we're not starting the work, you know, because one of the most important things we realize over the years is that once a client pays the money or, you know, has submitted the order, they want to start doing stuff as soon as possible for that first month. But yes, we do give you the choice. Okay, great. Um, can you reduce your bundle once you increase it? Yep. Mm, yeah, I guess the yeah. answer to that is yes. I mean, that hasn't happened yet, right, Juan? But I'm not sure. But no, it, it hasn't. Um, I, I I haven't seen it, but the answer will be yeah. Technically, you can. Uh, you if if let's say that you um, add some add-ons, right, to to the program, you can then if you need to uh, remove those add-ons, right. So the technology will allow you to do it, and then we'll we'll pretty much stop the work that we're doing on that specific add-on. So you can definitely downsize. But again, it's, it doesn't happen. Yeah, typically often. we see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, typically we see people adding on more uh, as right. the campaigns go on more because they want to keep their keywords where they are and they don't want to add more geographies or more keywords. But yes, in certain cases in the past we've seen, it hasn't happened so far with Vendasta, but with other clients, we've seen that, especially if they've been with us for two, three, four years, and we've had clients who've been doing SEO with us for well over a decade, they try to get into a maintenance mode. And yeah, at that time they kind of scale back. But yes, sure, there's no technical I can't. Okay. Um, do you have any sales collateral that they can use when selling your service? Yes. So if you get on the dashboard, uh, Vendesta platform, sorry, I keep saying dashboard, but if you go to our, I guess, app on the Vendesta platform, you will see, um, we, yeah, the marketplace. Sorry, thanks for mm -hmm. that, Juan. Yep. Uh, you you will see we've put up case studies in there. We've put up uh, a guide as to how to build the best program. Uh, we've put up even a sales presentation, et cetera, et cetera. And it's, it's something that we keep working on continuously. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. Okay, hey, does your SEO service include link building, blogger outreach, content writing, and on-site technical changes? Uh, short answer, yes. Okay, perfect. Um, are you able to include in your directory site submissions um, from the sites that are tracked in the Vendasta platform? Are you able to include in your directory site submissions the sites that are tracked? Uh, I don't know the answer to that one. I'm talking about, sure. Um, so we're not a directory, we're not a listing service, right? Um, we do do submissions to certain directories, but we're assuming in this case scenario, if you're needing a listing product, that you're probably going to buy a listing product from Vendasta or one of the other partners of Vendasta. Because you know, that's one of the foundational things you want to do uh, before for your client, your end client, uh, before you start doing SEO and so forth and so on. So our assumption that you've done, you have a listing product to your client uh, through one of the other vendors, and then you're coming to us to do SEO. And when you come to us with SEO, we do a lot of secondary and tertiary directories. Uh, we try to build listings. For them. So hopefully that kind of answers the question. Yep. Um... And then can you actually see reports? There's a couple questions about um, the reporting, if it's in the Vendasta dashboard or if it's separate. And if so, um, when will they be notified if the Vendasta dashboard integration is live? It's integrated, but I'll default to uh, Juan, Juan uh, about sure. the reporting. But yes, we do do it. Okay. So. Yes, a uh, good question. Um, we um, we also send it to your email, right? So we'll send you an email with the report um, at the time that the report is generated. 
So you will, uh, you will never miss it, right? You, you get an email with that report every month. And then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll notify we'll, um, somehow when, when the um, executive report, which I think is, is what the question referred to, um, when that is um, launched in the next few weeks here. Okay. Yeah, so the monthly reporting, we do a monthly reporting for SEO. That's available in the dashboard. You can go on the dashboard, with it, and that's the platform, by the way. Okay. Uh, and you can view the report in there, and you get notification for that. And the executive report is going to be coming up soon. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. And so this was back to a previous question about whether multi-location had the same account uh, manager. So for, say, 15 to 20 locations, would they all have the same point of contact? Yeah, so for our perspective, we, we're we one person link SEO account, and yes, if it's, um, do you, do I don't know, for the lack of a better, you know. Your uh, mic was cutting out again there. Maybe if you want to try restarting that answer. I can take Sorry it over. That. Is this um, better? Yeah. Yeah. It comes and goes. But yeah, so mm -hmm. the project manager, Go ahead. Yeah, the, the SEO project manager is always the same. Um, if that's what you mean by when you say account manager, yes. Yeah. And if there's somebody handling you as a partner, our relationship, and we have somebody who's actually doing the SEO, physical SEO work. So the SEO project manager, you will know who that person is, he or she. Uh, they're going to be the same person. And if you want to contact within us, as for you as a company, uh, partner is the same as well. Yeah, and I think just to add to that, I think the question is if, if I have multiple accounts, right, if I'm going to get the same person assigned to my accounts or if I need to contact a multi-location. Yeah. So, yeah, the answer is yes. You, you'll, get a, you'll get the same project manager assigned to you as a, as a partner, um, and you will definitely um, get to talk to that person on, on any of the orders that you place, any of the accounts. So. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Um, I think we'll leave it there for questions for today. And if we haven't answered one of your questions yet, we'll, we will reach out to you after the webinar as usual. So thank you again, Raj and Juan for joining us today. And thank you so much, James, for sharing what Alpha SEO has done for your business. Um, this kind of content is very valuable to our listeners. So we really appreciate it. Yeah, thank, thank you, Erica. And thank you, everybody. Perfect. Our pressure. And before we go for today, I just have a reminder about Vendasta's fourth annual conference, Conquer Local 2020. So this year's event takes place in beautiful Montreal, Canada from June 8th until June 10th, which is just two days before the start of the Canadian Formula One Grand Prix. Our keynote speaker, Marc Roberge, is a senior lecturer in the Entrepreneurial Management Unit at Harvard Business School, and he was the founding CRO of HubSpot. And as always at our events, we have a lot of fun activities planned, like uh, Conqueror's Bash in Cirque Eloise, which is a training facility for circus performers, as well as a half day of go-karting at K1 Speed, one of the largest indoor go-karting tracks in North America. And on top of all that, this year's conference hotel is the beautiful and historic Fairmont Queen Elizabeth. And if you book before February 14th, which is tomorrow, you can save $400. So for more information and to look into booking, you can visit conference.conquerlocal.com. And that's all we have for you guys today. Thank you so much for joining this week's Mendasta webinar.